Here are some common Minecraft commands for the Tickfinity Minecraft plugin, including some easy TNT commands. If you haven't already, then follow this tutorial, which is linked in the description to get the plugin set up. And also all of the commands mentioned in this video are also in the description. Let's start with one of the most important commands, which is giving the user the operator role. This is just going to let them type any command into their Minecraft chat. So to do that in your run.bat, it's called cmd.exe, type op and then your username. So I'm wg underscore mojo. So I'm typing op wg underscore mojo. Now, if I head into the game, I can type any command. For example, I can summon a creeper and there's the creeper. Now let's look at how to summon TNT. There's a lot of ways to do this. So let's go over every method. The easiest way to spawn TNT is to use Timecode's delayed TNT plugin. This is linked in the description. Let's install it now. So we head to the releases page. This is what's in the description and we want this jar file downloaded. Crucially though, we want it in a specific place. So find where you've got your paper MC server set up and then you need to find the plugins folder. So I'll go in my plugins folder and you need to save it precisely here. You don't need to change the name of it, just hit save. Once that's done, double click on run.bat and it's gonna run a little bit of code. So let's run that now. Once it's finished running, you'll see the green and yellow text which says delayed TNT was enabled. So let's look at some examples of how it works. So here is the super simplest way to use it. So inside Tickfinity, I'm gonna edit my action. And inside this box, you type TNT followed by the amount you want. I'll type five, I'll press save, let's press play and let's go to the game and see what's happened. As you can see, there is five TNT spawning one after the other and you can see it's killed me. As you saw, it's spawning too fast. So here's how we add a delay to the TNT spawning and how we change the fuse time. So once again, let's edit our Tickfinity command. And all I do is add an amount of seconds for the delay. That is the delay between each block spawning. So I'm gonna add a two second delay on that. And then let's set a three second fuse time on each piece of TNT so I can run away from it. Now what this command is gonna do is gonna spawn a total of five TNT. It's gonna spawn each TNT every two seconds with a three second fuse. Let's press save, press play, see that in action. So there's the first one, there's the second one, there's the third one. Don't know why it's graphically bugged right now, by the way. There's the fourth one and there's the fifth one. So now you've got full control over the amount of TNT, the amount of delay between each block and the fuse time. Let's look at the next example, which is spawn it on a different player. And all you have to do is at the end, add the player's name. So let's pretend that me, WG Mojo is a different player because it's just me in the server. So Again, as you can see, the TNT is now spawning at the requested rate on the player we stated, which was me this time, but you can change it to any player in your server. If you want to simplify things, you could just spawn one TNT. So you can literally just use the TNT command, press save, press play, and it spawned one TNT. If you don't want to use a plugin, here is more ways to spawn TNT just with regular Minecraft commands. Let's start by spawning one TNT, which explodes instantly. You can see how much more complex this command is compared to the plugin. So I do recommend using the plugin. So I'm gonna change my name. Don't have to change anything else. And once we've saved that, I'll press play and you can see it's blown up instantly. So that's not the best one. Let's look at some alternatives. Before we look at the alternatives, I will just quickly show you this one. This one here is gonna spawn five TNT. So once again, I just mainly change the player name and you just add more of these id tnts the more tnt you want to spawn so I once again press save press play i've died instantly but of course i've got a larger explosion as well so let's stop ourselves from dying instantly so with this next one this is going to add a two second fuse time you can see it's a bit confusing it says fuse 40 so 20 ticks is one second that's what you have to remember and once again, the plugin made this a whole lot easier by using seconds instead of ticks. I'm just going to change my username once again, press save, press play to test it out. And now we've got a quick two second fuse, which gave me a bit of time to run away. Now let's spawn five TNT on a two second fuse. So once again, it's just these blocks, ID TNT fuse 40, add more if you want more TNT. I'm once again going to replace player name with my own player name. We'll press save, we'll press play, and we got five TNT stacked on top of each other. I was too slow that time, but we got a two second explosion and five TNT exploded. This time, let's spawn two TNT with a two second gap between each explosion. So this is gonna explode after two seconds, this after four seconds. Again, the tick notation is a bit confusing, 20 ticks. 
is one second. So once again, replace it with my username, press save, press play to test it. There's the first TNT and the second one's just spawning there. Lost track of it. But as you saw, two TNTs spawned within two seconds of each other. And here's our final example. This one is five TNT with a three second gap. Of course, you can change the fuse time to whatever you want. Again, I'm going to replace the player name with my own username if I can spell it right. Now, if we press play on this one, just a reminder, the TNT is always spawning on this block if you're not using the plugin. So you can see it's spawning in. It's just making a deeper and deeper hole. Basically, this might kill me. No, it did, but it's making a deeper and deeper hole, as you can see. Again, I strongly suggest you use the plugin that we used earlier. Every week for free, I'm sharing my top tips to monetize and grow your TikTok live stream. I'll also instantly email you all the tools that I use when you sign up for free. Now let's look at how to add creative mode. And again, make sure you've typed into the console op followed by your username to make sure that you have the operator. And once you've done that, if you want creative mode in the chat, type slash game mode and change it to creative. And now if I just quickly spawn some TNT, now I'm not going to die and you've got creative mode enabled. Here's the command on Tickfinity if you want the viewers to be able to change your game mode. So you just paste this one in and you can change creative here. Let's change it to survival because I'm already on creative. You got to update the player name in two different places. So I'll add my player name here. And at the end, I'll also add my player name here. Once you've chosen the game mode again, that one. And once you've added the player name in, press save, press play. And as you can see, we're back in survival mode on half of an HP. Here's a fun one to clear the player's inventory. So paste this one in. You've just got to update the player name twice. So I'll update it there. We'll update it here as well. And once you've saved it, I'll press play to test it. As you can see, it's removed 66 items. So I've got nothing here and I've got nothing in my slots at the bottom. This command will fill a 10 by 10 by 10 block below the player with air. So if you want a nice open space to do something, nice open crater, I just replace player name Air can be replaced with anything, by the way. I'll press save, I'll press play, and as you can see, I've now got a 10 by 10 by 10 cube filled with air. And once again, you can fill that with any block you want, including TNT. So let's quickly look at TNT. All I would have to do is replace air with TNT, press save, press play, and now look at this. I've got a massive block of TNT. This next command is going to spawn a bedrock or whatever you want next to the player. So we'll paste this command in and once again, we'll replace player name. So it's going to spawn a bedrock two blocks away from me. So we'll press play on the command. And as you can see, it's now spawned a bedrock. Again, you can spawn anything, including air. Now let's look at how we show some large text in the middle of the screen. So I'm going to edit my command once again. This is going to say username spawned a creeper. I've got to replace the player name twice once again. Replace player name there. Replace player name there. And we'll press save. We'll press play. And as you can see, it's pretty big, right? So if I get rid of that, it's pretty big. So you don't want to use many words for that, but we have a solution. So let's do that next. So this one instead, this one types in the chat. So we'll paste this one in. Once again, we have to replace the player name here. We'll save this action. And I'm just going to quickly create an event to simulate a gift. Let's just simulate a TikTok universe. Press save. Of course, I need to assign the action. Press save there. And we'll go at the bottom. We'll simulate the TikTok universe. And you can see at the bottom of my Minecraft, it says test user sent repeat count TikTok universe. And when you're live, it will obviously say one TikTok universe or however many your millionaire benefactor is sending you. Next up, let's summon five of any monster in one command. So let's summon five creepers as an example. And all you have to do is change the ID here. So just for fun, actually, let's spawn one skeleton alongside the creepers. So I've changed that. Before I forget, let's type my username. Just the one for that one. We'll press save. We'll press play. And as you can see, they're all inside of each other. But that's four creepers and a on fire skeleton because it's daytime. Now, here is a free way to get any Minecraft command for your live stream. Just head to ChatGPT, which is linked in the description, and copy and paste the prompt, which I've also linked in the description, which is this thing here. And what we're doing is we're teaching ChatGPT the correct syntax, and then you just request what you want. So I originally asked it to give the player five diamonds, and it's outputted the correct command. As you can quickly see, I asked it a lot more questions, and it has correctly answered all of my questions and given me whatever commands I wanted. So that's completely free. It's linked in the description.
Let's look at some other ways to get commands. This is a title generator. So all you do on this is just change the title, change the subtitle, scroll down, click generate, and it gives you the correct command. You will, of course, have to adapt this command a little bit for Tickfinity. Just look at the examples in the description or ask ChatGPT like we just used earlier. Our next useful website is this TNT generator. You can set a fuse time, and I believe this is in ticks. So 20 ticks for a second. Let's set it to 10 seconds, so that's 200. Let's get 10 TNT as well. I just press generator, and it gives me this nice area effect, which I can just copy. Again, adapt it for Tickfinity. Check the description to see that. Finally, I'll be honest, I haven't looked too deep into this one, but this one seems to generate all sorts of commands. So if you're a more complex Minecraft player, check this website out. It looks like it can generate so many useful commands for you. Did you know it is super easy to stream on both TikTok and Twitch or YouTube at the same time? So check out this tutorial here to learn more about that. Thanks to the channel members. Thank you for subscribing and thanks for watching.